Today we're going to do acne surgery. The materials are an 11 blade, a comedone expressor, and uh, alcohol and gauze. You can also use a 25 gauge needle instead of the 11 blade. I prefer to use the 11 blade. Some basic points. Uh, this is used for open and closed comedones, milia and pustules, and the resulting defect may bleed but should not leave a scar. So, swab the area with alcohol. Okay, so we're going to pan over here and clean the area with alcohol. Okay. Hold the 11 blade with the right thumb index finger such that it is perpendicular to the thumb index. Okay, so here's my thumb, here, focus on my fingers. This is my thumb index finger, okay? And I hold the a blade so that the blade is perpendicular to the thumb and the index, okay? Stabilize the target lesion with the left index finger. Okay, so now, uh, as, a, as a general principle towards uh, doing procedures, you want to always stretch the skin out and pull opposite to the direction of the, um, where the blade is going. So, okay, I've stabilized the lesion. Much like the intralesional injection, pull the left index toward you and insert the 11 blade at the base of the lesion. Okay, so my left index is pulling towards me and this one's going to be inserted to the base of the lesion, little stick. Advancing it parallel to the skin, directly opposite the direction you are pulling with the left index finger. So I advanced it a little bit and now I'm going to pull upward. Boom. Okay. Advance the tip of the 11 blade to the center of the lesion. I did that. Be sure that your right third finger is touching the patient's skin and that your thumb puts pressure on your right index such that your right index squeezes against your right third finger. Okay, so the idea here is my finger here, and you can draw back a little bit, is, sta is the stabilizing point and I'm pushing my thumb towards my third finger so that I'm not just w flipping in the breeze here with the blade, I'm stabilized and I can give a very controlled, smooth, small motion rather than kind of an uncontrolled whoop. Okay. This allows for friction between the index and third finger, thereby giving a controlled displacement of the 11 blade. When okay. at the center of the lesion, pull the 11 blade directly up in a direct perpendicular to the skin. In the okay. direction perpendicular to the skin. And we can do another one here. So here I'm going to move. Tell me when you're ready. Okay. Okay, I'm going to move in and pick towards the center and now up. Okay. Once the slit is made in the lesion, there is a path for egress of lesion contents under pressure. Okay. At this point, bleeding may occur. So now, notice, by the way, here, I'm, I'm not going to hold the two instruments at the same time. I'm going to put down my 11 blade. So I put it down on the tray. And now I have my Comedone Expressor. And I like to use the larger part, not the smaller part. Okay, I'm just going to blot here. Okay, go ahead. Do not blot while holding the 11 blade, as your attention will shift away from the blade position and only to stopping the bleeding. Right, so, so the whole point is, if I'm holding this and I blot, I'll, I can stab myself. So I'm putting this down and then I blot, okay? If your left hand is only cognizant of the bleeding and, of the, and not of the blade, you can stick yourself. At the same token, some may feel it is intuitive to hold the comedone extractor and the 11 blade in either hand at the same time. Right, that so, you know, the idea is some people say, oh, let me, let me do this and then do that or do this and then switch or something. However, in switching hands simultaneously, again, your left hand focuses on giving the extractor rather than receiving the 11 blade. The result is a laceration or stick. The takeaway point is... Once you are finished with the 11 blade, put it down and pick up the comedone extractor or gauze. Put the loop of the comedone extractor over the lesion. Okay, so here's the loop over the lesion. Okay. Be sure the lesion is at the center of the oval loop. Meaning not here, but here. Okay. Rather than the loop's distal edge. Apply downward pressure. Okay, I'm pushing down. And look how I'm doing this. You'll notice here that my thumb is on the bottom and the index finger is on the top and uh, it's kind of like a, um, a lever and the, the fulcrum is at my thumb and I'm pushing down, okay? Then, while that downward pressure is maintained, 
pull the loop parallel to the skin. Okay, so now I'm pulling the loop parallel to the skin. I'm going to stabilize, by the way, the skin with my, you know, beyond the loop, opposite to the direction that I'm pulling. I'm going to pull towards me. And now this one, he feels pain. And you should see that the comedone should come out. We got it. Okay. The comedone contents should gradually but steadily exit from the incision you made. On the buccal cheeks and inferior eyelids. You see it? The comedone? You can see it on the gauze better. Okay. 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 You got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead. On the buccal cheeks and inferior eyelids. I'm gonna just do the next one here. Continue, Jenny. Downward pressure results in significant displacement of the skin. For the cheeks, don't be shy. Now, sometimes, sometimes, by the way, you don't need to make that incision. Check it out. I can just do this, and you see how some comedones come out. Like I can, I can. Here, look at this comedone. You see that one? If I just put pressure, it comes out too without the nick. Okay. Okay. For the cheeks, don't be shy, but beware that excessive pressure can actually cut or tear the skin. So for example, here's uh, on the cheek, you know, there's a lot more, there's a lot more give. Okay, so here's a comedone on the cheek. I have to put a lot more pressure, um, but I have to be careful um, just not to like put too much pressure because I don't want to cut the cheek. Okay. For the eyelid skin, yes. try to displace the skin over a bony prominence. Okay, so let's say that this were a zit that I needed to, sorry, an acne papule that I needed to um, extract. Obviously, I can't put pressure on the eye, so I displace the skin, go ahead, over a bony prominence. In and this then case, use the, the orb. extractor there. And then, then I would do this and do it towards there. And that hurts, I know, I'm sorry. Okay, very good. Okay, sometimes, especially with open comedones, the 11 blade incision is not necessary, and merely the comedone extractor is all that is needed. And acne, we, we showed that. Go ahead. Acne lesions tend to bleed from this procedure such that hemostasis is required. Hemostasis is not often satisfactorily achieved with ALCO3, so alum chloride, right. which also burns. Continuous pressure for about two minutes is generally what is needed. See here, I didn't nick it, and we got a whole thing coming out of there. If I nicked it, maybe it wouldn't come out in that string because it'd have a larger hole to come out. It's just regular. Is that it? That's it. Okay, so now we're just going to continue on and finish up here. But okay, that's it. We're done.